<laughs> okay, here we go. In a five, a four, a three, a two, <laughs> a one. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another fun, fantastic, super duper episode <laughs> of Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, the show that brings you the latest and greatest and odd and crazy news from all over the planet. It's as if the news may have been abducted by a spaceship at a young age and found his place amongst the stars with some mercenaries, only to get to leave those mercenaries and to go save the day, and then we were there. To record the whole thing because we're awesome, and then we tell you the tale of the news and the way he lived. Yes, I just stole the plot of Guardians of the Galaxy to explain how Horseshoes and Hand Grenades delivers the news, but that's okay because that's part of something that we might or may not or will talk about. We will tonight on the show because have, we're both pretty high on that movie right now. Mom hair. Your hair looks fine. I have mom hair. I am joined I as have always. Six kids. In a minivan, and I take my children in that minivan, and I go to soccer practice. And, honey, let me just tell you, it is not easy raising six children and taking them to soccer practice. So don't you fuss that my child made a C on her spelling test. Where the <laughs> hell did that come from? I don't know. I was waiting for you to, you were in that country mode, so I was waiting for you. Raising six kids on my own in a minivan, <laughs> trying to feed them McDonald's every day is expensive and difficult, especially when I'm trying to pay for my cigarettes and my lottery tickets so I can give them a better life. So don't you tell me how to raise my children. This incredibly racist segment of Horseshoes and Hanging Aids, it's racist because it's racist it against like, country people. It was like country if whites. Buffy was from the South. Buffy? Yeah. Like the vampires? Yeah. What? What does like, that have to do with I don't anything? Know. She, it's, I just expect her to say as if. As if. Oh, her oh own? my gosh. <laughs> they don't say things like that in the country. I know. I think I'm just going to talk like this the rest of the show. No, you won't. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Where's my button? <laughs> no. 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 So, uh, yeah, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. I feel like it has been an age since we've talked to each other. Has, did we talk last week? I swear we did, but I don't remember. I don't re yeah, I it was feels like notes, it's I'm been. Like, I feel like it's been a year and a half. Because work, Stephen. Good, great. It's a drain work. on your entire life. Blech. But it's freaking necessary to put a roof over your head. To pay for Dragon Con. <laughs> pay for Dragon yeah. Dude, we're going there at the end of this month. Yeah, we're I'm pooping drop my a pants grand right now. on it. I am pooping my pants. Like, we are going to go to Dragon Con. We are going to see our Patrick friend Stewart! Little Will. Yeah, I guess we're gonna so. go. We're going to go watch the NSFW show again like we did that one time. That was really funny, and you were on the show. With I was whole... on the show with Cat P. That was really fun. Um, we're gonna, I mean, we're going to do amazing things. Patrick Stewart's there this time. Patrick Stewart! I really, I'm kind of interested in going and playing a D&D &D campaign at the tabletop area, are, except do you I'm wanna, scared. Do you want to DM or? No, I just want to play. Oh, okay. With, with a group. I'm scared because it's the, probably the smelliest area of Dragon Con, and Dragon Con's a smelly place. So that's saying a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't know. It smells like a seventh grade locker room in every hotel. Like there's no way around it. So I'm kind of terrified. I didn't. We didn't. We didn't have gym at the school I went to. I mean, we did, but it was like shoot a basketball. Like nobody. It, got, yeah, it was nobody yeah. got sweaty. Nobody needed a shower. No. Well, we, we did, but we didn't know it because when, when you're that young, you have no idea that you stink. You just kind of run around smelling bad, and everybody's okay well, with guys it. Guys do. Girls, I mean, girls don't really. I've girls never... don't know they stink either. Girls are stinky, also. You just don't know it. You're convinced that you've never stunk in your entire life because you rub salt blocks on your armpits or something. And coconut oil. And coconut oil. <laughs> coconut oil and salt blocks on the armpits and up the butt. Yes, that is how to stay so fresh and so clean, clean. There's sometimes I think that maybe. The coconut oil thing would be a good idea, but then I consider like having to spend extra time. It really doesn't take much time to shove area. your finger. You're like, oh, just. No, I just don't want to get that close to my. The only time I'm that intimate with my your own butt. Your butthole should be clean, Stephen. It is clean. Well, then you don't have anything to worry about. I'm still. It just doesn't feel bright. Like it feels wrong. Well, Maybe guys have hairy buttholes. Women shave their buttholes. What you shave your butthole? I don't want a furry butt. 
Everybody shaves their butthole. Who shaves their butthole? Every, the popular, everybody shaves, and the not so popular, everybody shaves their butthole, How but do- you. <laughs> <laughs> this this week on to- the top ten hits. <laughs> Number one, everybody shaves their butthole, coming in on the charts. <laughs> That that needs to be a song. Everybody shaves their butthole. Frankie, you. I'll Where work are on. You? I'll work on one at the end of the show. Yes. Everybody shaves the butthole. Shut up, Joel. You're loud. The <laughs> Joel. He might be at work or something. For all we know. <laughs> You've got to know better. This show is not safe for work. It's not necessarily unclean. You know. Like Stephen's butthole. Like an unblessed pig. <laughs> My butthole is clean. I put the whole floofy back there. You put your floofy in your butthole? Doesn't everybody? That's what the wet wipes are for, yeah. I don't understand. Because fl- then you're just spreading like E. coli butt germs you're not putting everywhere. E. coli all over your yeah, butt. Yeah, you if you put your floofy where your butthole is, you're just spreading poop all over your it's body. better than putting the whole bar of soap up your butt. No, because the soap will eat the E. coli. The floofy will just be wet and fester. And so you're just like, let me rub some butthole germs right let here. Me, let me right rub here. a butthole on my arms. Yeah. I don't like think if you're that's unfortunate true. enough to put it on your face, then you have butthole face. But I don't think that's I don't think it's a problem. You don't think your butthole no, has E. coli? I mean, if your butt is clean, your butt can't just have E. coli hanging out. <laughs> like that's just not how it works. Or is that how it works? Somebody with a science degree who's capable of explaining this. Doth your butthole contain E. coli? I feel like it it, it doesn't I mean, if contain hepatitis. If you hepatitis. poop on a on a lettuce and then feed it to people at Chili's, they're gonna get E. coli. Really? Yeah. But it's, so that's like a standard thing that lives in your intestine. Maybe you, yeah, maybe you could have a separate butthole floof. It's called a wet wipe. It comes in convenient packages so, that you flush. So you have two loofas. One is brown <laughs> to dignify to show for certain that that's one, and then one is like blue or pink or whatever. I feel like a, a floof is ineffectual in butthole cleanage because I mean your butt is. Smush together. This this is your butthole. It kind of looks more like a vagina. That's yeah. No, that like, that that's your butthole. To, <laughs> this is your butthole. Wait, this These is not your, your butt. If your butthole looks like what <laughs> I'm doing, then you have a problem. This is not what your butthole looks like. You can't do that. What is it? Go get the Benoit balls. This is what a hemorrhoid. Go no, get- no 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 no. This is. This is this is what a hemorrhoid might look like if you're having a bad day. That's all I'm saying. Ben Wobble. So anyway. Bad bow. <laughs> I just got snapped. <laughs> no, it's fine. So go through like what if someone was going to have butthole maintenance, what would be the steps? I well, using wet wipes after every bathroom encounter would That's be critical. one. Step yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. What if you're at work? I You bring wet wipes to work. Do you just carry them down the hallway with you? Well, if you're at a private practice, you can leave them in the private bathroom office. Oh, no, I got it. I thought about doing that thing where I walk around with my toilet paper because I hate the toilet paper at work. It's like, you know, it's 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 basically got, this is what it feels like. Actually, that's too thick. It's It, it makes this sound. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I heard it. And that's the sound that it makes. Um, is it that like super thin? Bull oh crap? gosh, it's like yeah. half a ply, not <laughs> yeah. even one ply. Half ply. So you have to. So, but they do this thing where they have one toilet paper roll above the other one. Yeah. Sometimes you can reach up and grab the oh, toilet like paper from above. So I pull them together. <laughs> so it's I'm using twice the toilet paper. So they're not accomplishing whatever it is they think they're accomplishing. So you you buy the cheap toilet paper, but people use twice as much. So you're saving nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, but I mean, then you've got the people that like grab a handful and like jerk and clog the toilet with their. They just take it and put it directly in the toilet. Flush it, yeah. Yeah, and just pull the handle. Yeah, but no, de- definitely wet wipes. Okay, wet wipes. Foot. <laughs> wet wipes is number one. Yeah. What's number two? Coconut oil. <laughs> number two, coconut oil. Coconut oil. So you go straight from the wet wipes to the coconut oil. Well, no, when you shower in the morning, if you coconut oil up, then nothing sticks. Do you put coconut oil everywhere, or just? I use it as lotion. So it's lotion. Yeah. Then you just lotion your butt. Yes. Does it make things work properly? I feel like it does. 
I feel like we've spent an awfully long time on this type of conversation. And most people have hung up by now if they're if they're not new. No, there's they a lot of new. people that are tuning in because of their butthole health. Like that is something people ignore. But I mean, if you take your underwear off at the end of the day and you've got a streak, your butt is nasty. You're not doing it right. Yeah. That's right. You wipe until you see nothing. Yeah, and it hurts if you use just toilet paper. So that's what the white whip. White whip. The white like whip. You're, you're wiping too hard. If you're, it hurts. When you just keep, it's just Sometimes you have those no wipers though. They come out streak free, don't even have a problem, and you're like, "Wow, that was magnificent." Uh-uh. I didn't have to do anything. I have to do any work, <laughs> and you still do it because you know you're supposed to. But you look, and it's just nothing there. You're like, "Yes, I need to eat more of whatever I ate that caused that thing." Probably um, McDonald's is just oil poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are we discussing this? You, you. This is the first time in my life I've had this sort of conversation with you that you didn't go. Bleh! Well, I'm just really excited out. for everyone to rub coconut oil. It's antimicrobial on your butthole. All right, so if you have... Please <laughs> add a baby. It's a boy's having a good time. So so if you have no. some tips for your butthole health, let us know. If you try some before she's using hand grenades as tips, namely the coconut oil and the wet wipes, let us know how that how that worked. If, I mean, don't, like, don't dip your finger in the coconut oil and ram it up your butt. That's I mean, right. there's there's the seal that you don't want to break. <laughs> there's a different purpose for that kind of activity. Yeah, that, that getting might... clean is more of a whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. A floof and go. See, and when you treat a hemorrhoid, you kind of have to do stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you would use coconut oil on your butthole, you could just shove everything up there every day, Beyonce. and then it's cocaine, all right. <laughs> Beyonce's foot wants to put cocaine up her butthole. Um. Does Beyonce's foot have a butthole, or is it just a foot? That's, yeah, that's that would. I don't think foots have those. I want to put cocaine between my toes. <laughs> bleach. Bleach is not safe. No, I would never recommend that. Well, not the bleach your bum hole. I don't know. Can you? Uh, so coconut oil is perfectly safe. Yes. You can do it. All yes. right. I want to know how you guys fare. I'm not doing it. Because Go buy some. Co- he will eventually. The next time he gets a hemorrhoid, no. he's gonna be like, "Give me the coconut oil." No, I'm not. Yeah, I don't are. get hemorrhoids anymore because I, I don't. I, I relax. <laughs> I, I relax. I sit. And I wait. If you have to relax when you go to the bathroom, you need more fiber. No, you just chill. If you just chill, everything comes out. Don't get in a hurry. There's a place I was watching the news. This is really interesting. There's a a a group. I think it was at a waterworks somewhere. They told the employees who are part of a union they're only allowed six minutes of bathroom breaks across their shift. Was that the the chicken cleaner people? No, I don't think so. Oh. This is 6 minutes cuz they said that workers were abusing their bathroom privileges and spending an hour up to an hour a day in the bathroom. So they Sometimes limit them to 6 to minutes. Pee. Like what if you have to go 3 times? I've had those days where I went and then I was like, "Oh, I feel terrible." And then 5 minutes after I stood up, I had to go again. <laughs> if I this is my rule and I think everybody should adopt this, if you have to go to the toilet more than twice while you're at work, in a quick succession, like, you know, you're having an issue, go home. That's my rule. If I go three times, I go home. Because <laughs> right? I'm just done. I'm not I'm even going to fool with it. It's, like, yeah. not worth me being there that day. Yeah, a lot of people can't do that, though. I leave. Steven, Steven is able... I reminded... Never mind. I simply go, screw you guys. I'm taking my sick leave, and I'm going home. I can't. I just I can't say anything. I don't know who's <laughs> listening to my show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. How about we do a factoid then? Yeah, we could do that. We can move right along. Not harboring any Jerks. kind of feelings, are you? I'm gonna go so factoid of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Geb says Geb has a valid thing. He said he doesn't have any sick or vacation days yeah. this year. Not everybody. And that's a common thing. Yeah. And I I understand that I am incredibly blessed to work at where I work, where they just hand out hours like candy. I think it's ridiculous. I'm looking at my leave like I've only been there for two years, you crazy people. Yeah, but that's how everybody else on the planet operates except the United States for the most part. France takes an entire month. France is like, go to the beach in August, you crazy people. But then, I mean, our economy is fairly strong for the most part. I don't know how theirs is. I don't think the people care. 
I think at the end of the day, so here's an interesting. <laughs> yeah, not having it is, it is. I agree, and not having sick leave is is just total horse it's crap. It's stupid to go into work while you are sick. You get everybody right. else sick, and then you just pass it around. Then everybody else has to suffer, especially when you're working with, like, in the health field. Yeah, like. As a patient, I don't want to walk up to someone and have them like sneeze and cough and snot and hand me papers to sign. Be like, no. F you, I'm going home. Yeah, I just think, yeah. I mean, but no, they're like, I don't, you know, you got to come into work. So Fine, I'm going to lick everything. I'll let Stephen talk. There, well, no, I don't want you to be, I don't want you to let go of this anger because it works. Nah. What, do we need to, what we need to have, so there's a trend in America right now, and it's, it's mostly with young entrepreneurs who are starting a business for the first time. Many of them, are taking to the, there are no sick leave or annual leave or whatever. If you feel bad, go home. If you want a vacation, take one. And it's basically, there's no, there's no hours set aside for that. It's just, if you like working here, you're going to work here. And then when you take time off, you're going to take a week in the summer or a week whenever. People have a tendency to enjoy their jobs when they're doing what they love. So that's the people huh. that these places want to attract. Yeah. So like most businesses now, especially in the tech field which is seeing a lot more of this than any other industry. They're like, come in, get your work done, do your stuff, be passionate about what we're after. And if you're supposed to be there, if you're the kind of person we want to have hired, then we're, you're going to keep, you're going to work. That's true. You know, it's really interesting. That's very true. Like Beyonce's foot. Yeah, I can take a day off. I just don't get paid for it. Or right. they take your soul. Yeah, just take, take a day off. Or and they guilt you. It's like... I mean, I guess we can make do if you're gone. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the office is going to catch on fire. We're all going <laughs> to die. But, you know, if you feel that you need that day off, you, you go take it, you selfish whore. See, but then that's... These are these kind of places, I think, they work on a more reputation-based type thing. Like, you do really good work. You are always on time with projects. Right. You do really... So, take a vacation. Take a week. If and it's not going to bother anybody. If you get your work anybody. done and you work well with the people... Who cares? Who yeah. cares when you do it? Yeah. Unless it's something like Steven where, you know, you're there to support the hospital during the day. Yeah. I mean, but the hospital doesn't stop moving. Right. Exactly. Patients don't stop coming in or going right. out. But because everybody's on that schedule during that time, that's the only time you can meet up with people and get things done. Right. Makes it very difficult if everybody's working odd, odd hours when right. they want to. Yeah. But I mean, if, it, if it's a job where you can get things done when you want to get it done and, you know, you come in, you work half the day, you meet everything you're like man i'm, I'm good yeah. i'm caught up i'm gonna go home and de-stress there's a lot of places that are moving towards that kind of well it's really interesting and i think i think you'll see america shift to something like that over time because the 40-hour work week is an archaic leftover bullcrap bull from a, a bygone era that we just have because that's what we do and in america you work you have to use your 24 somebody decided that in 24 hours you need eight hours of sleep Eight hours of casual time and eight hours of work. And you don't get your eight hours of casual time. No, you don't because you you're driving to and from work. You're and spending you're, time getting ready for work. You're mowing the lawn. Yes, yeah, Stephen came home and mowed the lawn. And so you don't. But but I find joy in knowing that I have a lawn to mow. That's yeah. the, that's the perspective of everything that you have to look at. And this is getting real philosophical for you. And I know you came to horseshoes and hand grenades to to, <laughs> to look at these kinds of things, and laugh. But really, like seriously, I think about. I think about mowing the lawn. I hate mowing the lawn, but holy crap, I have a lawn. I, I saw lawn you were, house to take you care were of. mowing next to the uh, the bee aquarium. Oh yeah, and you were going. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking around up in there. Yeah, there's there's might be a wasp nest and it was awesome. He was so like oh, the rest of the time he's like oh my man, I'm oh, my man, brum, 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 brum. and then he gets next to the thing he's like tiptoe tiptoe. I'm like no. you have a lawn mower. This is Gab is right. 40 hours is actually the minimum around here. Because if you work at Cisco, for instance, they say you worked 40 hours, but it's like the pieces of flair from Office Space. <laughs> if you work 40 hours, somebody's going to come up to you and say, they're going to say, well, I see you just worked the minimum. Right. I mean, Ted over there, he worked 75 hours last week. Yeah. He's a real go-getter. <sighs> He's trying hard. And you're just like, dude, you 40 hours, is, 40 hours is a fireable offense for those people. Yeah. They want you to bust your butt. That's why all these places are putting in kindergartens and preschools and because gyms you, you and live there, free cafeterias because you never go home. Yeah, they want you to not have to go home and live at this place. I don't think so. No, that's. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you really like your job, if it is something that you could just spend all day doing, and you don't have a family, you don't have kids that you're leaving at home. Yeah. 
work as much as you want. Who cares? If you want to make the money, make the money. But I mean, if you are not enjoying your job, like if you're making money for someone else and you're just kind of spinning your wheel and not getting anywhere and they, that's what I don't think businesses understand is we don't give a shit if you make money or not. We really don't. We have no connection to you whatsoever. So you trying to get us excited about you making money so you can go to San Francisco on your vacation. Don't give a shit. I don't care. I could care less. I want to come in. I want to get my crap done and I want to leave. There's a, <laughs> so you do, depending on, you don't care about these people. I do not give a flying shit. I just feel like you're harboring some feelings. So many. So <laughs> many. That's it. Like, they're just like, oh my gosh, we're going to do this and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. I'm like, don't care. Don't care. You're holding me up from getting my stuff done. Leave me alone. So what we'll do is we'll move on to the factoids now, <laughs> like we wanted to do forever ago before Ashley gets herself in trouble. I fired. There are only 14 blimps in the world, and 10 of them are in the U.S. There used to be 11, but then the Hindenburg went down. We blew them up with the squirrels! What? I don't know. The do you squirrels? hear about that guy that kicked a squirrel off the Grand Canyon? No. That <laughs> you can't laugh. What? No, I didn't laugh. I mean, <laughs> hold on. This smile is is not part of that. It's from a joke I thought of a minute ago. It's it's not from the squirrel. Game. He's in trouble. They have him on video, and he's in trouble. Why is he in trouble? Because you can't kick a living you can being kick off a the squirrel off the Grand Canyon if you want to. It's animal abuse. Lewis and Clark walk straight up to that freaking Grand Canyon, and they grabbed a the squirrel out of their bag they'd been saving, and they chucked it off of there. <laughs> then one Lewis looked at Clark, and he said, "Hey, this is a big old hole. You still got that squirrel you found back in the wet in the woods." And he's like, yeah, I got the squirrel. How far do you think I can throw this sucker? And then the other guy's like, you can punt it. Yeah, I can punt it. And they punt it out into the Grand Canyon. Steven's childhood must have been so entertaining. There's no problem whatsoever. So somebody, you just say, tisk, tisk. That's a bad thing you did. And you let them go on about their business. Is he getting arrested? Like, is he getting, fi- are they filing charges See, for squirrel abuse? Okay, here's, here's the problem. <laughs> not an animal hater. I'm not. Sometimes I'm just when whatever. people uh, have an instance of abusing animals like that, that's typically just the startup for them tying people up in their closet. Oh, that's and- crap. No, it's a thing. It's not. That's it's crap. Thing. That's crap. It's a thing. That's crap. It's a thing. That's garbage. Your face is garbage. How old does the person have to be before that's like a legit concern? They st- a lot of them start young. Well, they're, they're they're full of garbage because I shoved M80 in a frog's mouth and lit it on fire when I was like six. I'm telling Chibi stuff. She knows that story. I hate that story. But it hurts my feelings every time I think about it. Well, but I'm just saying, That's I'm me- not a crazy person. I'm not okay. But I mean, you and go kick is- a squirrel one day and you shove a dynamite up a dog's butt the other day. No, and then not you a got dog. A that would be horrible. Tied- the dog would be horrible. You don't do that. Somehow to size makes humans more connected to things. Like, we think of bugs. Like, you'll just mush a bug all freaking day. I love it. And squirrels, you'll kick a squirrel in the Grand Canyon (laughs) all day. But a dog, if that would have been a dog kicked in the Grand Canyon, holy hell Oh, I would have lit somebody up. Yeah. But no, a squirrel, because it's smaller, cute fuzz butt. It doesn't matter. It's a squirrel. (laughs) No, I would never hurt an animal on purpose. I know I just said that. I would laugh hysterically when someone else did. (laughs) Y'all. (laughs) <laughs> I would I would never I don't like hurting things, right? But except that frog. When we were running around in Alabama with no shoes on, <laughs> running around doing stuff, the M eighties were around and Round There was there was some bored children and that happened and I regret it and I think about it from time to time. I think that's a terrible thing that we did, you know? But and I'm a different person. And then he tells now. everybody online well, that's because I was trying to defend Squirrel Kicker. Because <laughs> I don't Chicken think... Chicken Kicker. So there's a, there's a point where, yes, that is jacked up. You shouldn't have done that. But if, if, <laughs> if he got... So if he... It, it screwed up that he did it. But okay, what was so say you're, you're Tell on... Me what, what was say his punishment? Say you're, you're on... He's not... They're investigating it now. He's what do they have to investigate? Yet. You Sir, don't you kick, kick living things into a chasm, Steven! <laughs> What was your sir? Did you kick the squirrel? Yes. Investigation complete. Done. What are well, they trying to do? It's on video. Hey Tom, go down, ride the donkey to the bottom, and see if you can find the corpse. 
We need to autopsy it to see if, if you it was were dicks. out. Say you and Landon were out, and Landon <laughs> and you and Stephanie were staying there, and this dog. adorable little squirrel crawled up. I'd be cute. And it was a like, and Landon's like, Hur, squirrel, hold up. And he ate it and kicked it. And you just I saw would be it like, stuff. dude, that's terrible. And then we would kick Landon in after the squirrel. Right. Okay, good. Because it's civil justice. Right. People can abuse other people who are screwed up. Right. But did the government arrest this man no. for kicking a squirrel? No, he didn't get arrested. I have no... Okay. I just said... The title said, <laughs> under investigation, I know nothing further. That's what I'm I want to I'm seeing it. I'm reporting on one piece of <laughs> shitty news that I got, and I'm blowing it up. <laughs> okay. My contact was wrong. <laughs> Wasn't that I didn't do my part. <laughs> Stephen would like to uh, issue an apology for assuming... That the man got arrested. Okay. No, we're not apologizing. CNN doesn't oh, no. apologize. It was our contact that we trusted because we were in we, tight. We, we know, had butt sex on Monday. We were idiots with coconut oil. Yeah. So, no, okay. All right. That's all I want to know. Because it's, it's one thing to kick the squirrel and for your peers to punch you off the Grand Canyon. It's another thing for you to get arrested for it. No, no nobody was arrested. Okay. There was no there was no arresting. I get upset when Uncle Sam's running around with handcuffs on everybody. I get all I get all libertarian in there. No, like, I, no. It's, it's not the government. It's Batman. Batman will swoop down and kick him into the. I knew a legit anarcho capitalist who believed in tribal systems, like we were talking about with Andy Griffith. You know, you punch <laughs> you punch your neighbor because your Good. neighbor sucks, and everybody's like, "Yeah, he did suck." Good. Good. Glad we punched him. He Good. can leave our society. You know. I'm not an anarcho-capitalist. I was, was going to sing the um, Andy Griffin song, but I don't know what it is. Just take down your fishing pole and follow me to the fishing hole. Nuh-uh. It has lyrics. I'm dead serious. That's the thing? Yeah, it's got lyrics. It's, it's great. I had no idea. I think Andy Griffith sings them. They're, they're, they're out there. He's dead. Andy Griffith lyrics. He, I was was like, a, he was a gospel singer for a while. Did you know that? Everybody... From the north, from the south of Western Virginia, as a gospel singer. Let's see if we well, can. Well, now take down your fishing pole and meet me at the <laughs> fishing hole. We may not get a bite all day, but don't you rush away. Isn't this great? What a great place to rest your bones and mighty fine for <laughs> skipping stones. You'll feel fresh as a lemonade setting in the shade. Whether it's hot. Anyway, yeah. That was so, lovely. Look that I know, isn't that amazing? That was lovely. Yeah, and so it's got it's got words. And that I want to go back to that that time. Like you 1950s? Know? Yeah, when that women could vote and stuff. Right. Like, could, women could vote in the fifties, but you know what I mean? Back when women just vacuumed Down with women's <laughs> suffrage. <laughs> no, I was, it's it's funny. No, I'm Dude, not, I, at so, this point I'm with my mother and you know, you need to marry rich guy okay i'm done i i I will stay at home and keep the house clean oh that's bullcrap i will go volunteer at church and and do other things with my life (laughs) but i am just no no that's that's a jacked up way of doing things too if i could take like the 50s like cultures and attitudes and small community piece but keep today's progression technology you know like i think that would be okay Progression in terms of technology? No, or? no. Like, I don't want the tech. Like, F the tech. Nobody needs the tech. I'll go work on cars. There would be so many people without a job. The, the, well, the, yeah, because honestly, a lot of people, more people would die. It would be bad. So we could have the health care we have now, but you can't have the health care without the tech. I learned this working at a hospital. We could not see the amount of patients we have not without electronic health chance. records. Nope. People would not be able to do it. But I, I'm just saying, like, if we could go back to then where men wore hats. Men were men. I like know? the fedoras. Women were women. People used to drink we a lot, man. We did stuff. We they could smoked. drink scotch and drink and smoke at work, and it was fine. I'm just sitting in here drinking my scotch, Ugh. drinking my, eating my cigars. Eating cigars, because that's what you did in the 50s. Basically. We weren't very smart back then. No, that would be, that would be what, what we need to do. I just like that, that era. I like the style of the era. I like the... Just the, the way people were, and how you could walk down the street to your your local to Charlie's drugstore and know and be people. like, "Hey, Charlie, what's up? Can I get my medication?" And you like, like small town tinnitus. Gosh, I wish we had that. I feel like we Where have you lost. Live, I think you could get a lot of that if you walk downtown. If you went to downtown Apex, I feel like 
Have you have you walked My, up and down that little I street? I haven't been down there yet. It's phenomenal. Is it Mayberry? Because that's Mayberry. what I want. It's yeah. it has a barber shop, Stephen. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, it's because the thing like, but the problem is the stranger danger thing that we've yeah. done to kids. Yeah. It's almost ruined the ability for a person to have a relationship with an un, like a stranger, in a sense that like I can walk in and learn your name. Like I'm interested in your name. Right. And I want to ask you, like, how your kids are doing when I pick up my medication. Not because I met you somewhere that I see you all the time, but just because I trust you with some information and you trust me with things. And we, we talk when I get to the register. Like, I don't I have a problem that with person. that in real life. Over the internet, I'm squeamish about it. But in real life, I'm just like... Yeah, you, you yeah. do really well with that. You're like, everybody you see, I like your earrings. I like your bracelet. Your fingernails are fun. Yeah. And then you're their friend forever. Yeah. And with if you call, if you open with a compliment, everybody loves you. Oh yeah. I you mean, just... they're sincere. I look at somebody and I'm like, "Titting, that we, looks cool." We meet the most fun people when we're out, and you are with us. Yeah. Like if if you're with us, our waiters are always fun. Marvel the dude was wait, cool. The, yeah. Every... Marvel dude was like, "F this, f this, screw that." Marvel dude, Marvel dude, Marvel and on the dude. border. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was great. Yeah. I like that guy. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we always meet cool people because I don't know if it's something that you exude. I, think I it is. exude awesome. Because I'm a nice person. Steven in is incredibly nice. I'm like, hey, how's it going? But smiling and being nice isn't enough to like make somebody want to talk to you, which is weird to me. Cause you I'm tell them like, they look like Anna Paquin. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you've got a friend. Yeah. You're just, you don't put on, you don't have a, you don't have a kind of filter. No. When you walk when when you meet someone new, it's as if you were meeting a friend. Yes. For the hundredth time. Yes. You don't really take it one way or the other. Like me, I go to a stranger and I want to feel him out first. Which is <laughs> yeah, weird. He does. Like I want to feel him up. It's <laughs> not the same thing as I'll feel them out. So yeah, I, I, I feel them out. I get a vibe. Like if they, I'm great with extroverts. So if an extrovert comes and talks to me. I'm pumped. It's even like you can see him visibly I will vibrate. Start to... like, yes. <laughs> Daffy's gonna hold this animal thing against me forever. <laughs> no, I, I really am. Like if if I if you are an extrovert towards me, I will be I will be all happy. I will be great. We'll yes. we'll get along fine. I'll joke with you. We'll do awesome. For two introverts, I get bored real quick and I gotta leave. <laughs> I can't. I can sometimes be the extrovert for the introverts. But I have to. They have to be the same way I am towards other extroverts. So right. if I come to them and I'm like, "Hey, buddy, how's it going?" Fine. And the, yeah, I'm done. I walk away. I'm through with you. I don't really want to be your friend anymore. I might try it a little bit, but once it becomes I'm pulling teeth, I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I hate quick answers. <laughs> there's there's nothing to upset me more than like fast answer people. Right. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> fast answer people just upset me. So how's it going today? Good. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> we go get a bagel and some coffee. <coughs> like that's I don't I don't dig dig that. I knew I knew somebody at one point that talked fast all the time. That like answered questions really quickly. Oh, we were just going down to the store. <laughs> I'm just like I don't know. You bother me. <laughs> I'm from Alabama. We on the show I talk fairly quickly, but but in real life it's like you draw out your words differently. You know, like you you. There's a there's a there's a cadence. Yeah, I actually I I just started pre testing this week at work. Like today, they handed me a clipboard. They're like, "Go for it, Sparky. You got this." Go for it, Sparky. Do you want to get off that subject again? <laughs> no, I was just like, because I mean, people walk in there and you know, I'm like, duh, 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 and they're talking to them because they're you know they can't talk back. I have a captive audience and. They're like, well, you, you have to be professional and you have to be nice, but not too nice. I'm like, I'm, I can't change the way I am, dude. You really don't. Yeah. Like, I can't not talk to people like I talk to people or I'm just not going to be saying anything to most them. People, most people are cool with people. Yeah, being. they don't give a crap. Most people are cool with people being cool with them. Yeah. There's your, there's I your read nugget people of information well. today. Like, if, if I look at someone and, and, like, I made a crack about, there's this little thing called an Optimap and you have to like look into it and like press your face up against it because it takes a picture and it, it's like you're a peeping tom so that's what i tell people i'm like you know pretend that's a fence you're a peeping tom and you know eileen was cracking up she's like that's hilarious but i don't you got to be careful you know i'm like you i'm not gonna know. say that to a seven-year-old you don't know who you're talking to i don't care who i'm talking could to. could be the mayor of well maybe the, i mean who's 
if they get offended be at like, being a peeping Tom? Somebody's our history as a peeping Tom back in 1962. Somebody <laughs> peeped on my wife yesterday. Well, now you see what they see. Look into the freaking hole. Who told you I was a peeping Tom in my Jeez. young age? People, people, it's, people are going to peep. People are going to peep. They are. You know what else they're going to do? They're going to move on, quit harping on whatever it is we're harping on, and do some Jeez. world news. Good gravy. <laughs> I don't know what this show is about today. I feel like <laughs> we spent a lot of time doing some in, like introspective research on ourselves here. Uh, We've been everywhere from punt and squirrels to just to work s- issues. See, see, I mean, at least mine's a normal human being thing. You're just a jerk. I'm not a jerk. I don't condone the kicking of animals. Let's just make that clear. I don't think any. And if you kick a dog, you're a sick, sick, sick freak. But not a squirrel. Squirrel is. <laughs> It's not the kicking. I'm not upset. I'm not upset about. I'm upset about the kicking of this world. But I would be more upset. Stop if, posting your children on Facebook. They're ugly. They're all ugly. Nobody thinks they're cute except you. Nobody gives a crap if we see your baby on Facebook. Congratulations, you pop something out your vagina. Why don't you go ahead and just unfriend whoever you're looking at? Like, I would not have any friends if I unfriended everybody that's like, look at my baby. Look what it did today. Look what it did five minutes ago. Oh my God, it's sitting up. Congratulations. <laughs> it is developing like a normal human being. This Let's is, throw a party. <laughs> this is why what you do is you make a list of family members that <sighs> care, you know? And then you only share those pictures to those family members. I am not your family. Those family members are going to then share it to the world because that's how Facebook works. And then, and then, not only do you get it on your Facebook, they text you, oh, look at a squishy baby. Your kid is stupid, by the way. <laughs> All of you. Your kid is stupid. That's not true. They your drool kids. and they poop themselves. They can't no, do so, anything for listen, themselves yet. No, it's not that your kids are dumb. We love your kids. The problem is... That we don't necessarily need to see all of their information all the time. No. I, you really should just get off Facebook. Just just you get off Facebook. <laughs> That's excellent. Daffy's going to plant pictures of kids all over your car. Like Facebook <sighs> pictures of kids. Like, those, <laughs> just like Facebook. they're all retarded. Like they have the, like, they're not the retarded. Like, double chin thing. They're not, like, not just, they're, <laughs> Your baby needs to go on a raw <laughs> diet. It's too fat. It's got baby fat What's, like, all they're over all, it. Like, Stupid. Like they they have no motor skills yet, so they're like they're not. No, that is not stupid. Heart derp. Stupid is knowing better and still doing the stupid thing. They're so stupid. They're, they're just they don't. Your babies know are yet. stupid. They crap themselves. I can't wait till me and Stephanie finally have kids, and you're all like, "What?" I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna yell at you if you post it on Facebook. I'm no, like, I'm not. Yeah. There might be one picture at the beginning to say, "Holy crap, we just had a kid," and then, then the kid disappears from Facebook forever. High five. Right? Yes. Unless, because unless it facial, wants to be no, because as a facial recognition crap. and pedophiles. No, facial recognition is here to stay. I promise you, everyone has your picture, whether you like it or not. Well, I know everybody has mine because I'm like the queen of selfies. It's in a database. In a database. And they're going to be in a database when they're born anyway. They're going to take their DNA sample. They're going to take their footprint. They're going to take their handprint. They're going to take their retinal scan. All while they got them in the back washing them off, air quotes. Yeah, I, I do. You sit there and wonder, you're like, did they switch my baby? No, out? they take it back there. They they wash it. They poke it with about sixty five different needles, Ugh. and then they give it back to you. Have some mercury. They're oh, like, my baby's crying. We're gonna take your baby back into this room. We're just gonna clean it up. Sure, you're gonna stamp its foot. You're gonna spank its butt. You're gonna poke it with stuff. You're gonna pick at its Fill eyes. Fill it you're with do yeah. weird crap to it, and you're gonna hand it back. This is why you have a midwife come to your house. They did the same thing. I mean, I they probably did that to me in nineteen eighties, and I came up fine. Yeah. You know, I that, guess. Oh, look. There's another one. They're everywhere. They're Woman sneaks into zoo to swim. Angry horseshoes and hand grenades is now actually going to do some news. <laughs> um, this one happened in Berlin. A woman sneaked into the seal pool of Berlin Zoo, risking serious injury to take a swim with the animals after closing time. Germany, German Daily Build. Is that a, like a thing? German Daily Build? German Daily oh, did Build. did I not cut that out? Uh, no, it's there. German Daily Build. Uh, I watched as the woman stripped to her bikini and then lowered herself into the seal pool. Further back was a man taking photos. This is the best thing. So he's a witness. 
He says, I watched her strip into her bikini and then lower herself into the pool. Have we just gotten to world news? He said, yes. He said this before. <laughs> how long have we been doing the show? An hour. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> All right. We're going to bust through this. A zoo, a, so zoo staff failed to catch the woman, said Ragnar. Wouldn't that be great if your name was Ragnar? Ragnar! What's the Constockable! Ragnar! Ragnar! We write a heavy metal song about myself. Ragnar! <laughs> likes daisies and kicking squirrels! <laughs> they Ragnar. watched this woman take a swim in her bikini, and they somehow failed to catch her. Like, she got... I don't think she got in and out. She was probably... This is that peeping Tom <laughs> you're talking about. It's like... I'm George, only gonna tell George. We'll just we'll just ten more minutes, George. <laughs> we'll more. get her. We'll catch her. We promise. Just just watch. George. Uh, the woman could have been seriously injured if the seals had bitten her. Uh, the dangerous. woman took her swim half an hour after visitor had been ushered out. People need to respect <laughs> animal welfare Steven. in both the wild, but also in captivity. Steven. this is so perfect for the conversation. Say the had. name. Uh, Dort von der Reith. <laughs> That is probably not how you say that. Uh, he's a spokesperson, spokesperson for the International Fund for Animal Welfare, or EFA, if you're uh, keeping track of <laughs> acronyms. Uh, to intrude into their compound is absolutely irresponsible. Gloria and Grania are not yet fully grown. <laughs> Fur seals can vary in size from <laughs> one to three meters. They just dropped you right into seal land and Benoit didn't even tell you. Fur seals. Uh, the pair moved to German capital from Hanover Zoo in 2013. They packed up their bags, they boarded a plane, they came straight to Hanover, said, we're in a search for a better life. Put us in that zoo. And then they have all these people diving in Skinny there with dipping them. With them. Seal, seals are scary. Have you seen a seal underwater open its <laughs> mouth? Have you seen a tiger seal? No. Do they have to, like it's dislocate their jaw like. and open it bigger than your head? I'm Googling that. Look up snarl like underwater. Oh, that's that's frightening. No, like do the do the What is wrong with that do thing? Do the underwater underwater this one? tiger. That no. looks like a that looks like a shark. Seal. I can put this up there. Just got to figure out how to do it. Underwater. Oh, <laughs> good. We've got pictures of tigers. Oh, great. That one's eating a baby penguin. Congratulations. Look at this shite. Look at <laughs> Does Holy crap, that's a that's CG. That's not real. Can't I know, but be. it's the same thing. It's not the same it's thing. The, oh, here we go. That's real. Look at huh? that. Bam! Holy crap, that, that could eat my head. Right? Like, without even trying. That's like a snake seal. You found a better picture. A snake seal. Snake seal. <laughs> that's terrifying. There, they've... Yeah, there was uh, there was a scuba diver that went underwater, and he was he was filming the uh, the tiger seals. He was wanting to get some photographs to sell to National Geographic or what have you. And um, this tiger seal walk walks up to them because they're underwater. Yes. Hey guys, what are you doing? Taking a stroll in my ocean. <laughs> he tips his hat. I was saying what you were into. Yeah, just, just kind of swims up. Holy and, uh, crap! The seal grabs a fish and brings it over to the uh, the cameraman. You know, camera's like, what the hell do I do with this fish? So, you know, he kind of pushes it out of the way, and the seal grabs it, brings it back over to the seal. Was trying to feed the cameraman, and the seal thought the cameraman was retarded and couldn't eat. So, like, <laughs> he was distraught, and she spent forever around the cameraman trying to get the cameraman to eat the freaking fish. And he wasn't going to do it. Well, I think I think they finally worked something out, but it was it was really adorable. I would eat that fish. I yeah. have become See, look, a sushi the- kind of guy. That's what. That's how they took the picture. Jeez. I'm gonna take a picture of you taking a picture of the seal. Right? That's amazing. Yeah. I. That's ruckus. Is sushi by the by? Holy crap! I've been thinking about it since the last time. Steve, I ate it. Yeah, Stephen has not stopped talking about sushi. I need Steven, it. Stephen. Stephen took a leap and got sushi at somewhere he had never gotten sushi before, which is always kind of scary. But we had we'd sit there and stared at that sushi guy for like, he just looked so bored. But their yeah. sushi is apparently very good. Holy crap! It was delicious. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I'm not, I don't know that I would be, I would consider myself a sushi fan, but I think I am. Mm-hmm. I think as long as that sushi contains tuna and tempura, yeah. then I'm Crunch, good. Crunchy tuna is Steven's sushi That's thing. That's just what I do, and I'm fine with that. Let's yeah. do the next story since. Uh, we could probably do that since. Because we got a lot to cover in this little bit of time that we have. Here we go, Small Town Dudes. Could use the small town news, the Andy Griffith theme. <laughs> <laughs> Just take cold fish and pole. De- 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 he like his voice was amazing. Yeah. He's a good singer. It was good. I, was, was. I don't know why, but I I I I like that. A 49 year old Illinois woman said that her 23 year old male roommate tried to kill her last week after she ate three Chips Ahoy cookies for breakfast, <laughs> sending him into a rage. This, this is um submitted by Coleman. Coleman. Yeah, yeah. Coleman <laughs> sent this one in. 
Uh, so just so we give credit where credit is due. Thank you very much, Coleman. He posted that on the uh, group in Facebook. And if you would like to join the group. Facebook.com slash group slash h show. Just ask. The man, Alan Hall, was charged by police with attempted murder and aggravated domestic battery. The victim was getting dressed in the bathroom when Hall became upset. She told police that she thought he was kidding when he said he was going to kill her. So she <laughs> said, quote, if you're going to kill me, then go ahead. End quote. What the devil happened? This is the strange thing here. 49 and 23. Yeah, I don't. Something weird. Oh, no. That's... Yeah, I mean, he was pissed off. Apparently, Hall was not kidding. He allegedly threw his roommate into their tub and began to choke her out. The roommates were separated after the woman's husband and the landlord found them. That husband is the same as the landlord? Or I they're think, two different people? Yeah, so I, maybe three people living together, a husband and wife and a 23-year-old male? That's weird. That is, that is awkward yeah. for a husband and wife to live together and then have a third roommate. <laughs> that is so weird. I don't know anybody would do that. Yeah. That's just asking for trouble. Yeah, it's just, I mean, yeah, they, they're going to eat your cookies, man. Yeah, being married and then having someone else who's older than you living in your house. Yeah, that's just strange. It's a jacked up well, situation. I don't understand why you would do that. It seems really weird. I mean, they're just going to eat all your food. Yeah, they're going to eat all your food. And they're leave water plastic, bottles everywhere. Freaking plastic bottles everywhere. And then they're going to forget that they left them everywhere and you're going to find them anyway. <laughs> that video that you sent. <laughs> oh, I have never laughed so hard. You, you. I was, that, was the, that was last week when I went to work late by an hour because I forgot what time I had to be there. Right. Yeah. Weirdo. We're lucky the house wasn't on fire when I ran. It, yeah, because you, you had a tendency to leave the TV on there for a minute. I did that once. Yep. So, um... We saw a movie, Smash. <gasps> it was so good. We did. I'm it just was gonna, so good. I'm just going to play this thing. Okay. I'm going to just set up set up the thing to be played. That's what that I'm would do. be good. That way everybody gets gets a full taste. Of the thing that, that we're playing? Of the thing that we're playing. Listen to how I talk and try to fill, fill the gaps before the thing. Dead so air. we went and saw this movie. Guardians of the Galaxy is the number one movie in the universe. This is fun! Yes! Critics across the world have spoken. It's filled with action, heart, and humor. Exclusively in that order. And now it's the best reviewed blockbuster of the year. Rolling Stone raves. Should the Bah, well, Rolling Stone, whatever. H and H raves. Holy crap, Guardians was good. It was so fantastic. It was really freaking good. It had like, such a perfect mix between comedy and action and like emotional roller coasterism. Yes. You know? You went from like, hey, this is a really heartfelt moment to bam, it's funny again. Right. To, to holy crap, things blew up just then. Yeah. To back to oh, I can't believe that happened. Yeah, like it's so here's the thing, and I've been talking, I've been thinking about this and thinking about this because I have a tendency to obsess over things. Just a little you bit. Know that I have somewhat of an obsessive personality. Slightly. I've been thinking about Groot, right? <laughs> a walking, talking tree had more emotional range than the entire cast of Twilight. <laughs> he said that when we walked out of the I, theater. I, I really believe that. I sat there watching a tree pull me in, and and have. Everything, every emotion that you ever needed to see. Like, it went from rage, confusion, worry. Uh, like, it was a tree. A made-up CG tree. And all he said was, I am, was Groot. I am Groot. But he had so much emotion. Like, the way it moved, the way it talked, the way it, it smiled at things. It had, a, like, a childlike wonder. Yeah. It was like Fern Gully in a bush. It was, it was incredible. Incredible to watch that and not and just and believe that it existed not to sit there and go okay there's three people and two cg characters i i was gonna say i never never once during that entire film thought that cg is good it just it never occurred to me it, that it was cg right it, it doesn't even make you think. and it's a raccoon and a tree yeah yeah it's exactly that is very true like even when i watched uh narnia i'm like man the lion is such good cg right but right. when I watch this, I'm just like, oh, that raccoon is so funny. You, and I don't know if it's because of the environment that they create, like the universe that they created is all CG, so you're, it blends better. I, but I don't know that that's the case. I think it's just that they did so well designing and making those characters. They, they, put, they put all their effort into making 
those characters actually seem yeah that well rounded they yeah. had personality they had anger they and had they sadness they grew as the movie went along you know and sometimes literally grew <laughs> yeah they, they they had they had some depth and that made you ignore anything about them being CG and any scenes they were in it was just great like I, I don't even know how to feel like I have to see it again I I don't even I don't even know what to do like it's on it's on the top of my list. You know, Marvel movies so far, like, it's right up there. Yeah, I, en- I enjoyed it immensely. Like, to me, I, I love The Winter Soldier yes. more than any other Marvel movie. The and plot was so phenomenal. This I, room! It's awful, isn't it? Oh, I can't breathe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say I put Winter Soldier above The Avengers for me. Really? And that's, that's because The Avengers is fantastic in a sense that it, it is... It's easily it's easy to rewatch because it's just adventure, excitement, fantasticness, right? right? And then Thor punches... Yeah, Hulk there are that. moments that, are, that you love watching again and again and again. Yeah. But the main thing to me is that that's all your superheroes together, which is something, an impossible feat that no one in a million years would have bet on right. when Marvel was filing for bankruptcy. Like, right? Like, that was not something you'd ever thought you would see. But Winter Soldier was a great movie. And since I'm a movie fan, like, you know, a big, big movie fan of all tens of different movies, then I loved it. But I, I don't know that I'd put... I wouldn't put Guardians of the Galaxy over that, mostly because I'm just a freaking Captain America fan, and that's yeah, just me. Yeah, that's because he's Superman, but yeah. Marvel. He's Marvel Superman. That's just me. But Guardians was one of the best rides I've been on, you know? Like, it, yeah. was, it was There was There wasn't that weird movie lull. No, there was never a lull. Yeah. It I had got the choked best pacing. in the middle. When, when I, the very middle of the movie, I got choked. I, I had a cold, so my throat was hurting, and like... There were people on this side of me, and I was lightheaded, and I couldn't get up and get water. There was no water to be had, so I like struggled not to die for ten minutes. And you know, I was crying, and I couldn't breathe. And I'm just like, that's cool. I'll just die here, and nobody will help me. And so I missed. I feel like I missed a chunk of it while I was trying not to die. It, you, yeah, I kind of felt bad for you. I appreciate you feeling bad for me while I, I, I was dying. I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just I should have got up and got water. I just couldn't like I couldn't see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as Stephen types, he did, he does. See, I was Stephen, replying to Stephen there. doesn't care if I die, folks. So if you want to go to the movies with Ashley and you care if she dies, here's, here's you right here, and here's Guardians here's of the, the Galaxy. Squirrel. Here's that's where they is where you live. <laughs> Oh. I'm just hateful because my legs hurt and I'm taking the pain out on everybody around me. Because Steven can't walk. <laughs> I don't know why they hurt so bad. Gosh. Gosh I need Have to you do been taking training. statins? Yeah, actually. I'm really? Taking, I'm taking a fairly powerful statin. That's probably why your legs hurt, doofus. No, my legs hurt because I don't use them and I went for a walk today. How so. long was... I mean, did you walk up the side of the Grand Canyon? It was like a minor jog. Because I had to get over to the hospital and back before my next meeting, and I only had an hour to do that, and it took me a really long time. And then I, on the way, when I got there, I got a Cliff Bar and some Sugar Babies and Jeez. a pair of Nico, a pair, a pack of Nico crackers of peanut butter. That was my lunch today. It's wonderful. But yeah, go see Gardens of the Galaxy. Me and Ashley both rate it five and a half stars. It was great. Yes. I don't know what the devil scale I'm using, but you guys get it. A five and a half out of three. <laughs> That's right. Dun, 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 news bad left untold. Man smokes a woman's ashes. This is terrible. Yes. I didn't even know you could smoke ashes. That's what Jeff said. Uh, a man claims that a burglar broke into his home and smoked the ashes of his late wife. How do you smoke something that's already burned up? I uh, you keep reading. Philip keep McCullen reading of for C- more. Philip McCullen of Citronella, Alabama, leading site for Citronella candles, if you're looking for them. <laughs> great place to get them. Uh, says it happened while he was out of town visiting friends. He said he came back to find the house ransacked and the ashes thrown around the room, adding, <laughs> it looked like they tried to smoke some of them. Mr. McMullen thinks the burglars thought the ashes were drugs as they were kept in a plastic box rather than a metal urn. Did he keep his wife's ashes in a cigarette box? All I can think of is, is your cat box or the, the food, the cat food box. Downstairs. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's just, yeah. <laughs> See a little plastic baggie in there? <laughs> yeah. Done. I just think he had one of those old cigar boxes yeah. and just put them in there like a she Ziploc was a bag. brat. <laughs> Couldn't afford to earn. Uh, I guess they figured out this stuff ain't worth smoking, so they threw it up underneath one of my toolboxes. <laughs> <laughs> this story's so from Alabama. A police rep- I'm allowed to say that because I'm from Alabama. So uh, yeah. None of you others can say stuff like that. 
Uh, I guess uh, guess I'm going to read the sentence again. A police report says the intruder stole 15 items, including a generator, chainsaw, knife, fishing rods, and reels. (laughs) MacGyver broke into his house and took the things he needed to stop a disaster somewhere. (laughs) That's my theory. And dead wife ashes. But Mr. McMullen said the worst thing was the desecration of the ashes of his wife for 22 years. It's hard to put in words. It makes me want to fight again, and I don't like to fight, said the Vietnam veteran. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office, Mobile, Mobile County Sheriff's and Mobile. I was thinking mobile. Mobile, the Mobile one, the Mobile, mobile Sheriff's mobile Office, Mobile, Alabama, <laughs> the Sheriff's Office that drives around. You know, it's Mobile, drives around from place to place, being sheriffs. Sometimes we're in South Alabama, sometimes we're in North Alabama. <laughs> mobile Sheriff's Office does what it wants. Uh, they're investigating the burglary, and officers say they hope someone will do the right thing and turn the criminal in. So if you find anybody out there running around in Alabama with uh, ashes on their face. Because that's where the only way I figure you got evidence. Yeah. Or they just f- somehow managed to find a chainsaw and generator and some fishing poles. What are you gonna do with a chainsaw like vibrating fish pole? So they're going out. They're going out into the forest near near a lake. They're taking their fishing hole down, fishing pole down to the fishing hole. And gonna cut a hole in the cut, water. No, they're gonna cut the uh, a tree down so they can sit on the the log. Okay. And then they're gonna use their generator. To turn to keep their lights on, so they're gonna hang some string lights above their log and, and drink gonna, burr. And they're and they're gonna fish. And they're gonna drink burr. And they were planning on smoking some ashes, but that didn't work out. Um. So scientists created invisible mice. Like they're see through. They're they're trans. I want to see a picture. Is yeah. Sk- oh are they my completely- dear God! No. Yeah. No. Nobody wants that. They're see through. Nobody wants it. They're completely no. What science it's has like gone too Hollow far? Man. We have to put a stop to this. It's not Hollow Man. It's worse than Hollow Man. You can see their guts. Oh, uh, uh, that's so weird. I, I just searched for Invisible Mouse, but I think there's a. It's about. A, it's a book. It's called Tissue Clearing. Ugh. Why? This is terrible. Why would you why would you look up something like Creating that? Creating transparent organs could be integrated into human biopsies aiding in the identification of disease. So they take your organ out, they make it invisible, and then they see if it sucks or not. No. Don't do wow. that. Wow. It took them two weeks to make an invisible mouse. Two weeks is a very short time. Yeah. I mean, do we know what kind of damage it does to the mouse yet? Other than making well, it Well, I mean it looked pretty dead. Hollow Man made an... Im- the one thing Hollow Man contributed to, in my mind, for the Invisible Man thing, that it did well, was it, it, it had Kevin Bacon say that he was having trouble sleeping because, because his eyelids yeah. were see-through. Something I never thought about. You know, I think about that every night when I close my eyes and there's light coming in the window. I'm just like, my eyelids need to be less transparent. Pisses me. I hate light. I hate light when I'm trying to sleep. I hate it. I want it to die. I, don't I want blackout curtains. So, so this is, so you, Stephanie will fall asleep with a TV on, and with all the lights on in the house, and with the blinds open, at any random time of the day. Yeah. But when it comes nighttime, if the night light in the bathroom <laughs> is visible, I have to get up and shut the door. I'm just like, you fell asleep with the sun <laughs> blaring in through the sunroom. But here we are in bed, ready to go to bed when there's no light. And the night light in the bathroom is a problem. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand any of you people. I, just, I can sleep with anything. No. I used to sleep, though, with uh, like the TV on when I was little. Like I'd fall asleep with the TV on all the time. I don't mind the... Like, I've fallen asleep watching TV before, but it's not like I wake up with an, you know... 10, 15 minutes kind of thing. Oh, I'll wake up like the next day. If I'm trying to sleep, sleep, and there's any light, and it's, if there's no noise, I can't sleep. And if there's light, I can't sleep. I hate it. They can That can actually be something that, like, if your parents, when you were a baby, just kept you in a closed, quiet, silent, no light room yeah. to sleep, that might have some effect on the way you, on the requirements for your sleeping later in life. I need I need the noise. Like I if it's quiet it drives me nuts cuz I used to fall asleep when I was at everybody's house. They would just put me down on the couch and I'd hear people talking and stuff. Like I, I have to I have, have noise asleep. because otherwise I hear everything that you shouldn't hear while you're trying to sleep. I hear this is no and your brain 
You need the white noise. <laughs> it's easier for me to fall asleep with with white noise, like fan or something. Yeah. Because I well, one thing that's the way I used to fall asleep back yeah. in the day, and I got tinnitus after a less than Jake oh, concert. Oh yeah, that was too loud. Yeah. So when it's real quiet, I can hear that high pitch just in my ear, and it makes yeah. me nuts. But I've I've gotten used to it yeah. finally because Stephanie can't sleep with sound, no light, no sound. She can't. Yeah, that drives me Sensory nuts. Deprivation. I used to have to put headphones on because she couldn't have the fan on or anything. But she's got that thing where she. Stuff stuff SPD. is too too loud. Yeah. yeah, she's retarded. It's like a near. It's not like autism, but it's like got some of those same features. You can't tune stuff out. Retarded. It's just all. It's like having a concussion all the days. Yeah, your senses pick up everything, it's so awful. you have a really hard time filtering out stuff. It is. It sucks. Next. Next. Next story. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Ready. <laughs> 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 it's your story. <laughs> Who's that guy? That's the guy who played Raphael in the movie. Josh Pals. Pals. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Your he turn. was claustrophobic. I didn't know that. Um, where are my notes? I'm prepared. <laughs> You're doing awesome. I'm prepared. <laughs> a Maryland man who dressed up as a woman to fleece intoxicated passengers for more than $200,000 while driving a taxi in Washington, D.C. has pled guilty to fraud. 50-year-old... What does fleece mean? Fleecing? Screwing people, jewing. That's not nice. <laughs> Can't say that. Jewing fleecing, people over. Fleecing and talking. Okay, so taking their money. Yeah. Like that lady who was doing the P test for the truckers. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What is Nieriririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririririr
<laughs> I have that on video. Are you serious? Yeah, the coming out of their shells tour. I just I didn't realize that the the pizza people fought over the marketing. Twenty million marketing campaign went to Pizza Hut. Wow. Yeah. There's there's the beginning of Ninja Turtles on the VHS tape that I have that I it's like it has a Pizza Hut commercial and then there's some kind of fun like children's writing thing going on. Huh. Yeah, and that's what, every time I think about the Turtles movie, I think of that because that was at the beginning. Duh, when saxophones were cool. I remember because Raphael swore at the beginning. <laughs> he said the D word, and that blew my mind as a little kid. I was like, why did he say a bad word? Who's, I forget our radical debut audio cassette. Audio cassette. Official concert oh. tour guide and autograph poster for three ninety nine with any excellent pizza purchase. A I just had a thought. retail value. I just had a thought. Less. A, a cassette tape features very, is like one of the main things you see in Guardians of the Galaxy. How many kids are have seeing no that and have no clue what it, it is? is? Holy crap, that's true. They won't know. Mommy, what is that? They oh, won't know chill. what Look the that. crap that is. That's amazing. Yeah, because they've got that, that video of the kids, like the nine-year-olds with a cassette player. They're like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Like if I saw an eight-track machine, I'd be like... I think I've seen this in a movie once. Yeah, like I know what it is. I've never never used one before. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I'm just like okay, like the they because they look like um, cartridges for the Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kind of look like an Atari cartridge. Yeah, yeah. Like I know that, and you can't rewind them. You just have to kind of listen through. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. If they did not succeed. Cassette, uh... you can rewind, but they don't know. They won't know what that is. You wow. know, the music they can get because music is, you know, transcends yeah. all generations. But but they won't they'll they'll put it together. Obviously they're not stupid. Two they're gonna go, that's what music came out of. But they don't remember they don't know what the connection is between a number two pencil and a cassette tape. Yeah. I do. I've seen that, but yeah. Little, yeah. What do these two things have in common? Well, you put the pencil in your the kids don't know. I feel old all of a sudden. Nah. Thank you guys for listening to us, hanging out with us this fine evening. I have no idea what we were on we did this show. If you're new, we hope you enjoyed it. If you're not new, we also hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a, a fantastic time. It's a show that me and Ashley both needed tonight, I think. Yes. Oh, yes. You know, you need an opportunity to laugh and have fun and do stuff. Um, and that's that's what we're here for. And we hope you enjoyed it and you got to laugh and have fun and do all the things that you want to do. Listen to us in the background while you do whatever. Paint. Paint. Do your art, Mr. Paint. Eric. Iraq um, web. I've been really, really, I don't know. Never mind. So send your questions, comments, feedback, and hate mail to hnhshow at gmail.com. We like to get your feedback because it helps us know whether we're doing a good job or not. Uh, you can also call us and leave us a voicemail at h h Live on Skype. Uh, download our show on iTunes or wherever you get podcasts nowadays. I don't know what you kids are doing. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter. I'm Steve h and The show is at h and Show. And Ashley doesn't use Twitter. Bah. But you can get in the Facebook.